Good day, everyone, and welcome to Social Selling Wednesday. We meet here every Wednesday at 11 o'clock Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific, or whatever that is where you are at, to talk live about social selling and sales and all of those business-related type of topics. My name is Bob Woods. I am social business strategist at PeopleLinks, as well as executive vice president at Social Sales Link. Both companies have to do with social selling uh, training and even technology that helps um, businesses, uh, large and small alike, with their social selling efforts. Ted, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Thanks, Bob. I'm Ted Pedromo, and I'm the author of Ultimate Guide to LinkedIn for Business, Ultimate Guide to Twitter for Business, and I help people with their online advertising and social media strategies and all that fun stuff, lead generation online. Cool. Very cool. Very cool. We are normally joined by actually a growing list of people, but 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 normally our um, our third compadre is is uh, Michael DeGroote. He is with Staying Alive UK. He does much of what we do, but he also does something called uh, storyboard animation and storyboard telling via video. And it's a uh, and, and it's really cool what he does, and it kind of spins into um, what he does with, with with social selling in terms of education, as well as just telling stories via um, via storyboard animation. So hopefully he should be back next week. He's at some kind of um, conference or something like that in London today. He's out of the UK. So uh, with that in mind, the format of what we normally do here is uh, is we'll note anything, any changes that we've seen in LinkedIn over the past week or over the past couple of weeks that something has happened and we think it's uh, important enough to bring up again. And then um, and then each of us here will, will have our one thing to talk about basically. Uh, which is something that um, you know either we've trained on in the past or something that we've seen in the LinkedIn community in general that we want to address. And as always, we do take um, questions during the session. So if you would like to uh, pop into chat and send us a question, please feel more than free to do that. You can mark it as a question by typing, is it Q slash or slash Q? I can never remember that. Forward slash capital Q. Forward slash capital Q, or just type it in the chat. Which, yeah. which, whichever way you want to do it, we will, we will see it and we will answer it. So, so we like the show to be very interactive. And then um, we actually have two seats open today. So, if you would like to join us via uh, just audio, you can do that uh, by by clicking on one of the open seats. And um, if you want to join us via video and audio, please feel free to do that as well. So with that in mind, um, any changes that you've noticed in LinkedIn um, over the past week immediately or just something else that we've discussed recently that we'd like to bring up again? I Something that's been coming up in my world, everybody's asking about ProFinder. Yes, I, ProFinder. They, they seem to be rolling that out more aggressively. I got, I was on the beta test like a year ago. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it's it's there. And now they seem to be rolling it out everywhere because I see people posting and they're asking me, what is ProFinder? How do I sign up? Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. So um, um, I when I first went to do it a couple of weeks ago, first of all, I was a little surprised that I was actually able to do it because um, because uh, some of you may know that I'm actually out of Lexington, Kentucky, which, you know, while it's a great city and everything else, it's definitely not a San Francisco or New York in terms of size. So um, those are the type of markets where they beta tested um, the uh, the new. I, I don't know if you call it a platform. You probably just call it a platform, basically. Yeah. So um, so so for those of you who don't know what ProFinder is, I guess you can kind of describe it as as, as kind of like Fiverr, I guess, except without the uh, the uh, five dollar thing going on. You can obviously charge 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 more than that but you can put yourself out there for your services and then others will 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 come in and and engage you based on what you have uh about yourself in ProFinder. as is is that a pretty a- accurate description of what it is ted yeah it's kind of putting your ad on craigslist in a way yeah so okay find it. fiverr craigslist that type of thing sure sure yeah. sure we can go with that so um uh, because I haven't seen it yet, what uh, what have your experiences been with it so far? So I've made my profile basically online marketing, online advertising, 
LinkedIn assistance. Kind of, you have to kind of put yourself into a bucket. Okay. So I'm in the marketing bucket. Okay. There's social media. There's different categories you can go under. Okay. And what happens is people come across your profile and they invite you to submit a proposal. Okay. And it's like, oh, this is good. Okay. But my experience hasn't been great over the year. Okay. What's Some of happened? the things I uh, run into, well, I don't know if it's just because I'm in the San Francisco area and there's so many people on it. You have to respond to these inquiries. They only take five proposals. So you Ooh. need to respond within sometimes an hour or two. Ooh. So if you don't check your email for an hour or two, that one's closed. So it goes right past you. Wow. So it's very popular. Obviously, people are responding to it. Right. My problem is people will put in a proposal like, I'm looking for ongoing marketing support. And that's it. So you oh. kind of you have to submit a proposal or an hourly fee. Uh-huh. And then describe what you'll do for them. And I've never got anybody to respond back. So sometimes I thought I was charging too much. So one time I just put in twenty dollars an hour to uh -huh. see if, if people would reply. I didn't get invited to participate. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. Now how do you give a proposal for an ongoing marketing support and an hourly? You can do hourly. Mm -hmm. And that usually freaks people out. I don't usually charge by the hour anymore. I charge by right. the project. By the project, yeah, exactly. Just if you say, I work for $500 an hour, they're like, no way. <laughs> yeah, that's one way to scare off people. Is just Even like, if you say $100 an hour, it just freaks people out. Yeah, so I mean, um, so when they come in with just these generic things, I mean, um, with these, you know, I want online marketing services, period, and that's the only thing that they um, that they do there. Um are you asking, or I guess probably a better way to put it is if someone goes on ProFinder and starts using it and they get these generic types of of um, uh, proposals or, you know, RFPs or whatever you, you want to call them, um, would, you, would you want to respond back asking for more detail before you can be before you can quote them or you no know, it's a form it doesn't work like that it's a very limited form and you can only put in so much information you can't say i'd like to learn more about your project okay. before i propose like so it's really right. a simple brain dead form and you i it needs some work yeah so brain dead form equals brain dead proposals it kind of sounds right. like at this point yeah and they're they're targeting people like us who do large projects right so you can't go in and say, well, I'll do that for $30,000. Sure. You don't even know what you're committing to. Oh. And, and, and yeah. <laughs> Ongoing and, marketing. What's that mean? <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, the person out there is going, $30,000? What are they talking about? Yeah. So, um, yeah. So maybe I guess it's probably just as well that I haven't put a lot of time and effort into this because it 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 sounds it sounds like a good idea, I think, in in theory to keep this within the LinkedIn community, because, you know, hopefully you'll have somewhat like-minded individuals in terms of, um, you know, in terms of people with whom uh, they will want to do business with you basically. But at the same time, uh, it sounds like it needs work. I would like to see even after they select someone, if they actually do hire someone, let us see what they, what they committed to. Maybe not the company name, but just say, this person was selected or this company was selected. Company XYZ was selected. Okay. And here's the proposal they put in. Okay. Just kind of see if people are actually hiring people through this or maybe yeah. nobody's ever hiring through it. Yeah. So, um, so I guess two questions that immediately come to my mind are, is there like a rating system for these companies coming in? I mean, and, and can you rate them? Can they rate you? That no, type of thing. it's okay, just so very basic. Submit a form, you may get. It's kind of like sending your resume in through a fax machine in the old days. <laughs> you know, <laughs> maybe they'll find your fax, maybe not. <laughs> wow! But they're wow. only taking five submissions, so that makes it good. If you're posting a project, you're yeah. not going to get like you know, you put a Craigslist ad up for an employee. Oh, yeah. you get hundreds of people applying, and most of whom have no idea what they're what they're right. doing or talking about. Anyhow. So I so, guess. It's a good idea, but it needs some work. The second question that I have is cost. I mean, is 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 LinkedIn making any money off of this right now? Are they taking a cut of the um, 
of the expected revenues or, or is this all just free right now? It's all free. I think they're just trying to increase engagement, get people to come to LinkedIn and spend more time there. I mean, you think about it, there's 400 and some million business professionals there. A lot of people like us, independent consultants right. or small firms. This yep. is a great opportunity to get in front of these people. Yeah, it is. If 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 you could just do it right, they're matching <laughs> buyers and sellers, which is what on LinkedIn is perfect for. Right? Yeah, exactly. They just, um, yeah, it just it sounds, I guess, I, I guess, kind of half baked at this point. So, um, yeah, and actually, as uh, as someone who actually in my in my deep background, um, we uh, I work for a startup that um, that kind of built a link in type of thing for for the corporate and commercial real estate fields as well as um architecture engineering and, and construction so like that end of things and and we actually built and actually patented a reverse rfp system to where um to where you know let's say i was looking for a property i could i could enter in the details of that property and then that would match not only current listings um, that we had within the platform, but if someone had indicated on the other side of the transaction that um, um, that this is the, the type of thing that they did, they would actually get email notifications as well that this person is potentially looking for property in your area as well. So, I mean, um, I guess what I'm kind of saying is I feel LinkedIn's pain to, to a certain extent because I've actually help uh, was greatly influential except for 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 the coding basically but um you know i i greatly influenced that product but at the same time um i gotta tell you we we were pretty well nailed down by by the time that we went into it so um this this really sounds like they didn't put a lot of effort into it so i yeah. i don't know what else to say and and quite frankly i wonder if they're infringing on our patent hmm there you go. That. May have to get a little bit of money out of them for that. We'll have to see. Of course, there you we go. would need to spend money to make money in that case. I don't know if that's going to happen. So <laughs> <laughs> the attorneys will get rich. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, that's what always ends up happening. You know, especially with those um, with those predatory um, uh, patent lawyers and those companies that do nothing but buy up patents and then and then wait and see if anyone else is is infringing on them, which. Quite frankly, I'd like to be in that business only just from a money making standpoint, but um, but I've got a conscience. So I don't know if I could do that very long, right. but it does sound lucrative. So um, anyhow, yeah. Uh, yeah. So Profinder. Um, so if you if um, if you meaning uh, the other people listening in now or later, if, uh, if if you've had experience with it or um, or if you're thinking about doing it, come on back in subsequent shows uh we would love to hear your experiences as well so again social sell selling wednesday every wednesday right here on blab at 11 a.m eastern um we always have uh the uh, domain social selling wednesday.com pointing at the next blab coming up too so you don't have to go through and search and do all that type of fun stuff basically that you would normally have to do um are almost impossible to find unless you know the link i know i s <laughs> and we can go off on another tangent on that but i don't think uh I don't Even after I would. create my own, I can't find the link sometimes. I know, <laughs> and and sometimes they uh, they've actually started adding that funky number after um, after that, but then it disappears, and it's just yeah, I don't know, I don't know, but I it's do. Beta. Yeah, yeah, it's beta, <laughs> and it is a great platform. I do really love this concept, but it is in beta, so I guess we all have to remember that as as, as we continue to uh, to use it and go through things here. So uh, just want to remind everyone that we are taking questions in chat as well as you have the capability of popping in via audio and or video. If you want to uh, if you want to show your face, we'd love to see it. If you just want to chime in via audio, we can do it like a radio show, too. So uh, go ahead and do that. as I well. see Bruce Merrifield's on the call. And Bruce, if you want to come on and share your project you're working on, he's working on this pretty amazing project right now. Bruce, come on in. Seriously, come on in and you don't have us. to do video. You can just do audio. You can if just you want. do audio. That that's that's not a problem. We're not we're not very demanding here. Just a 
just a little demanding. So, uh, so if you want to come on in, uh, go ahead and do that. Um, let's just see. I'm, I'm going to see who else we have here really quick. Uh, Cameron McLennan, if, if you want to come on in too, please feel free. And it looks like we've got a couple other viewers here who, who might not be logged in. So um, otherwise, I haven't really, um, I haven't really, I hate to admit this, but I've been so busy this 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 past week with other things. I really haven't been on LinkedIn a lot, so so I haven't seen a ton of changes. I'm trying to uh, trying to remember what are some of the changes that we've been seeing recently. I think that um, didn't didn't someone mention having the ability to connect now uh, for, and 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 make customized um, requests directly from from searches? Isn't isn't that a thing now too? Hey, Bruce is here. Bruce. Yeah, that's me. Yeah, you can hear yeah. us and we can hear you. That's always uh, half the battle right there. How are you doing, sir? Hey, I'm doing fine. This is my first experience with this uh, technology. Cool, cool. What do you think of it? You succeeded yeah. in getting on the call. That's great. <laughs> Very yeah. good. Just been listening and uh, watching, and uh, I've been wanting to use this concept in in my project, but just haven't got to it yet. Okay. So, Bruce, tell us about your background, what you're doing, and your project because it's an amazing project. Well, I uh, retired from the fire service several years ago, and uh, started a powder coating business and uh, ran that for several years and uh, lost it to eminent domain. And at my age, uh, I didn't want to start over in a regular brick and mortar business. So uh, started looking at the internet and uh, the things that were going to go on there. Okay. Looked like the direction to go. So totally not a computer person but uh, so bruce believes that every firefighter has an incredible okay. story to tell yeah so he's doing trying to get firefighters to each write a chapter in a book he's putting together so there'll be 12 chapters so 12 amazing okay. stories from firefighters so okay ultimate firefighters the hero's journey and it's a compilation book, and uh, there'll be 12 of us in that book, and they'll uh, get to leave. Uh, they start out with their picture, and then they get to leave their bio and their story, and then at the end, they get the full-page ad for any uh, uh, charity that they want to uh, support. So, Oh, that sounds very nice. That sounds very nice. Yeah, and actually... Um, just between we, we actually have a firefighter in in our family, and I know that uh, you know he definitely has some stories to uh, tell. And then, um, uh, speaking of deep dives back in my just personal um, personal history, I was I was in television news locally for for a very very uh, for for a long time. So I responded. I you know I was there at a lot of fires and things like that, and and I saw what these. Um, women go through and and i mean you know just hearing some of them talk at, at the time and sometimes having beers with them afterwards and, and things like that it's um i know that there's a lot of truly incredible stories out there about what you guys do so um you know i uh, this sounds like a fantastic pro uh, a project and and good luck with it how are you coming along with people uh contributing uh Due to the lack of my uh, knowledge and sales and that, it's not coming along that good. <laughs> but everybody, everybody I talk to about it, they think what a great idea and they really want to do it, but uh, nobody's stepping up to the plate to to grab their chapter. And uh, there, like you say, there's a lot of great stories out there. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and you know, the the people know us. There's a big shiny truck, or they know us with the uh, the ugly turnout coats or the fancy uniforms, but they don't really know us. They see us doing our job, and they think that uh, we're really something. But you know, we're just doing our job, and we have a passion for it. And uh, mm-hmm. they, uh, but they don't know us. You know, they don't know 
anything about our families or what we go through to to get that job and the training that we go through and uh, so that's what the whole project's about to let people know besides the uh, crazy stories that go along with it sure yeah absolutely so I, I've been helping Bruce optimize his profile. That's going to be my next question. Exactly. And there's over a hundred thousand no firefighters on LinkedIn. Wow, that's something. <laughs> I I never would have guessed that when Bruce told no me way that. that. I would have guessed that either. So that's great. That's great. So are you um are are you starting to reach out a little bit to them now or or, or you're not five to ten of them a, a day. Yeah, that's good. That's a good number, I think. Yeah. So I don't want to overwhelm myself or the system. <laughs> right. Yep. Yeah. No. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, as, especially with 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 LinkedIn, and that's actually a good tip for just anyone in general. If you take your activity, especially when it goes to um, outbound messaging from 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 zero to a hundred miles an hour, basically, LinkedIn won't notice and they'll, and they'll, and, and they have ways of telling you to slow down basically. So, um, so, so, so what you're doing, um, you know, just in terms of that small number every day, I think is um, perfect in terms of, uh, in terms of, um, in terms of your output, which I'm sure Ted has told you as well. So, uh, so that's, yeah, that's all really good. Yeah. He's been a, a great help, uh, a great teacher and, uh, enjoyed the bit that we worked together so far so he's done a great job good so bruce what's yeah, the please. website it's uh, uh, the website everybody legacy launchers.com the legacy l-a-u-n-c-h-e-r-s.com yeah okay because because i'm going to use that fourth window to um to uh oh drop in Let's see if this works Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. That's why it's beta. Like, like we said, I tried to put the profile yeah. in there and it didn't. Yeah. Come so up normally either. in this fourth box, you can show web content, but it's just, it's not happening. So I tried, I tried Bruce. I tried. Well, that's all that counts. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, thanks thanks Bruce, very for much. Your story. It's always, um, it's always good to hear different ways that people are using LinkedIn to help them in whatever business type adventure that they're doing. And, and, and we normally talk about sales and, and things like that, which is why I'm always happy to hear, you know, these a little more non-traditional yet very, um, what is the, the word I'm looking for? Very logical and uh, very legitimate ways to do it as, as, as well. So um, good luck on your project and, um, and thanks for joining us. We, we appreciate it. Okay. Thanks, Ted. Thanks, Bob. All right. You have a good day. Catch you later. Thanks, Bruce. See you later. Bye. Bye-bye. So cool. So that's very interesting. Um, yeah, so. Uh, Never would have guessed 100,000 would be on that there. That really is amazing. Um, yeah, I, uh, you know, I would have guessed like maybe, you know, 10 or 20 or something like that. But uh you know, it's like, um, you know, it just makes you wonder what other non-traditional groups are actually fairly well represented on, on LinkedIn that we don't even know about that someone could potentially do, do something like that. Or, you know, even like what Bruce is doing, you know, you know, do some good basically by, by just simply telling stories. I mean, he's not selling anything really obviously except except to get these people's stories and have them write them and things like that so yeah no that's fantastic so with that in mind uh let's go ahead and move on to our to our one thing segment this is uh this is where we bring up one thing that um that we've taught in the past that we think is important to, to bring up today or something that we've been seeing on on linkedin in terms of general trends and things like that uh, so ted wh wh why don't you give us your one thing first my one thing is i preach it every day mm -hmm. to my clients <laughs> be consistent get on linkedin yep. every day and like you, the last two weeks, I've been very busy and I haven't spent yeah. as much time there as I usually do. 
and my profile views have gone hey, down like Hank, 50%. oh my god i can't i mean i mean it's you know it, it's it's really interesting um that uh, I mean, because sometimes I even fall into that trap where it's like, oh, OK, you know, I'm not going to be able to post a couple of days, but it's not going to be that big of a deal. And then you go on and you check your numbers and it's a big deal. Yeah, exactly. It really is. <laughs> it really is. So, um, yeah. So that's interesting that you bring that up because um, because one of the things that I that I kind of preach to all of my uh, people who I um, who I teach at people links and these are all salespeople and marketers and uh, and and people like that generally speaking at, at fortune 1000 companies and they're all over the uh, globe too but I always teach them that um, you know if, if you're doing sales processes on on a day-to-day -day basis you should really think of social selling and and all of the uh, things that go into that which really isn't a lot necessarily depending on how much you do but you almost need to stop thinking of social selling as something separate so i mean you know if you're doing a certain number of calls if you're reaching out to a certain number of people every day every other day or or whatever just work in social selling to that so that it just becomes sales basically I think that that's probably the um, yeah. the uh, biggest thing there, which I mean, you know, on un unfortunately the past couple of weeks because I've been so busy, I actually haven't been doing a lot of regular sales stuff either. And, and trust me, it's showing right now. But um, but um, yeah, I mean, so 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 the way you want to kind of think of it is essentially, um, you know, doing all of these things, obviously in bite sized type type of uh, chunks basically because that's how most people do do the regular sales things too you know just toss that into the mix basically and uh you know even if you're just commenting on on some things or you're sharing one or two things it doesn't take that long to do most of the stuff so um just go ahead 15 yeah, or 20 minutes does. a day it, makes it, a huge it really difference. does and then especially if you're using linkedin uh, for those high visibility types of touches, especially as you're taking deals through to the close. And that's something that um, that I teach just in terms of uh, keeping keeping people who who you're dealing with, where you already have a uh, proposal into just staying at top of mind there. I mean, if if those activities lead directly to a close and get you revenue, why wouldn't you do that? especially if you can get them through quicker right. so that you could start working on other deals too. I mean, that's something that you would do at that point. I mean, there is no, there's no bigger ROI from, from a measuring standpoint as to take people through quicker and, and more efficiently as well. So the stuff really needs to become part yeah. of your, um, part of your daily or weekly or whatever routine. And, and, and just like Ted and I said, it's, it's easy to fall off the wagon. We do the stuff all the time and we fall off the wagon. <laughs> so, um, you know, you just, um, to, to, to continue, continue with that cowboy metaphor, you just got to get right back up on that horse basically. And just, you know, don't beat yourself up over it and just start doing it. I saw an interesting video yesterday. I can't remember who <laughs> it was, <laughs> but he was talking about, he called it never be selling. He said, just be out there sharing information, touching people, sending little messages and just keep that relationship That's interesting. going. And don't try to close people right. when you're doing your social media, just try to get their attention and start conversations. Wow. And it's interesting because gosh, lately, I've been getting mm -hmm. a lot of new clients and uh, I started asking, uh -huh. like, where are all these people coming from? <laughs> Cause I okay. haven't been aggressively marketing. So I actually something very profound here. Yeah. I ask them, how did you <laughs> find me? <laughs> ask a question. Imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> and they said, Oh, I've been following you on social media for years Good for you. So, so it wasn't that it was just a one time thing. I've been doing this mm -hmm. consistently for a few years. People have been following me and now it's their time you. to hire me. Good for you. So, 
I mean, folks, so. I mean, this this stuff really works. I I actually had a guy um, this morning for for training who I fish, who I, I unfortunately couldn't train because um, because he had a lot of tech problems. So we rescheduled. But um, but but he really just wasn't getting what this is all about. He was um, he was, you know, about, you know, I've 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 never gotten anything off of LinkedIn. I'm not really sure why I'm doing this. So this was. So, so this is for a uh, people links client, um, you know, someone that I didn't bring in because when I bring in people, they're already mostly sold on social selling. This guy was definitely not sold on it yet. So as I explain some things, I'm, I'm hoping that he will, um, you know, he, he, he was, he was sounding kind of close to the whole thing. So I'm hoping that, um, when, when we have our next meeting that will hopefully be a little more open to, to seeing how all this stuff works. But, um, you know, just, just overall in general, uh, I, I do believe that probably within the, the next five years, social selling is just going to be selling. And it's definitely, I mean, selling is sales is always changing. I mean, you know, once upon a time, it used to be dial for dollars. You would literally get a phone book out and just start dialing. And then, you know, faxing and emailing started coming in as well, but people were still cold calling. Now, now with the social selling stuff, um, you know, I don't care. First of all, I don't care what people say. You still got a cold call. I mean, you're not going to be able to reach everybody via social uh, social selling, but you are going to be able to reach a heck of a lot of people through social selling. And even with your cold calls, you can use social right. selling techniques to help you get in uh, better, faster, and with more information than than you would if you're just going off of a cold list. So, um, so social selling really helps with all of this stuff. And like I said, at some point, it's just going to be just selling, basically. It's just yep. like another marketing yep. channel and a sales channel. It's like the phone. The phone and the fax used to be a channel. Mm -hmm. And what I find, too, is those old school approaches oh, yeah, work absolutely. once you get people's attention yep. through social media. I mail people a copy of my book with a handwritten note saying, hey, I just have noticed mm -hmm. your profile on LinkedIn. I, I thought you yeah, be helpful to Yeah, I used to, to do... Um, just handwritten notes after after meetings or after meeting someone or or whatever and um and I'm and I'm starting to fire that back up a little bit I should I should do it more and I'll you know add that to my ever growing list of things that I should be doing but um but nothing stands out more than than someone receiving a handwritten note from someone basically no one does it anymore I mean you talk about standing out right. in the minds of people that's a fantastic way to do so once upon a time, everyone used to do handwritten notes. Yeah. Now, no one does yeah. it. So that's another yeah. kind of old school thing that's that's um, that I think is just grossly underused and um, and and would really set you above the um, above the crowd, and especially above your competitors when it uh, when it comes to uh, just to sales in general. Yeah, yeah, it's so it's, yeah, it, it really takes does. A it. In fact, um, back. Back when I was in real estate, this is uh, this is a story that I always think about. But um, uh, this uh, residential real estate guy, he had an assistant, and 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 he always told his assistant to have ten stamped envelopes with with cards for him first thing in the morning, every morning for him to fill out. And if for some reason he didn't get to that stack of ten on Monday. When he came to his desk Tuesday morning, he would have 20 and on and on and on and on. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, most people don't have assistance to, to do that type of thing with. But if you get into that mentality, which I was in that mentality once upon a time, and it's hard to get into and it's easy to get out of. But it really does make a difference. I saw all kinds of action, um, you know, action in terms of um, uh, sales and selling that I just wasn't seeing before just because I was just writing some cards. Yeah. It's just, it's like the simple yeah, happy birthday absolutely. messages. That That's gets a great true. response. Yeah. It's just yeah. ridiculous. And, and it's funny. I actually have been doing those lately and, um, and, and I think I've been getting a response about 30% of, of the time. So um, yeah. I actually borrowed, uh, Oh God, Kurt, Kurt's, Kurt's thing about, you know, um, having, you know, if your birthday is on a Monday, have this message Tuesday, this message Wednesday, blah, 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 and and and, and things like that, basically. Yeah. And um 
and and that works too i mean because it's a little more customized people people do come back with with an observation about what i've written basically and it just this this stuff works it works because it's personal it, it's yeah. it's all about the person it's not about the sales process although you're hoping that it will lead to a sale at some point but you know even if it doesn't you know you could get a referral out of it or there could be a sale farther down you know you, you know that's just life you just don't know yeah i started asking a question oh. in it too i'll say um happy birthday joe hope you had a great day and then i'll say something i, uh -huh. I hope you did something fun or did you do uh -huh. anything fun for your birthday and about 20 percent of the time good. they'll reply to that that's really good yes it and does it starts yeah. a conversation some people yeah. tell you some pretty intimate details what they did. On <laughs> oh, no. oh, a little sorry to hear that, but uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I didn't even hear that one. <laughs> and, and... But for the most part, they just say right. I had a great day. Thanks good. for that's asking. That's good to hear. That's that, that's good to hear. Yeah, mm -hmm. it just starts a conversation. So, um, for my one thing, I had to call a call a couple. A, of days ago from from a guy who was uh, or with a guy who is who is a bit more advanced with 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 LinkedIn than I quite frankly had 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 been expecting. So I was teaching him some some things about advanced search and and doing different types of searches and things like that. And he was always like, oh, I know how to do that. I know how to do that. And I'm like, oh, OK, we're kind of getting we're kind of getting into some real deep dive stuff here. So then but then I thought maybe maybe he doesn't know about this thing. So I said, do you know how LinkedIn operates similar to caller ID? And he looked and said, or I mean, not nah, looked because we, we, we were on a screen share, but he said, you know, no, I don't know how. I said, um, have you ever looked through your who's seen your profile section? And he just says, no, what's that? And I'm like, yes, I got him on something. So, um, um, so I basically went through how, um, you know, who's viewed your profile is essentially like caller ID. So uh, for our purposes here, essentially, when people look at your profile, they're looking at it for some reason. You know, Lord knows what. It doesn't really matter. It's an opportunity to start a conversation with someone. So um, so so if you just want to um, go go to who's who's viewed your profile, just um you know, just just click on their name to be taken for to their profile and just send a message from there. Whether it's a first degree, second degree or third degree connection doesn't matter. Your messaging might differ a little bit depending on the degree. But um, but even if it's a first degree, you know, you could say something like, you know, hey, Joe, it's Bob. Noticed that you looked at my profile, was wondering if you had any questions. Maybe this is a good time time for us to catch up do you want to set up a phone call something like that if it's if it's a second degree connection you could or second or even third you could um you could write a similar type of message you know um uh you know just inquiring about about why you are you know why this person was looking at your profile or you could take it to the next level and actually um request to connect and then just do a message, something like, you know, hey, Joe, I noticed that you looked at my profile. I looked at yours and I think that there's some uh, potential synergies between us. Um, let's let's connect and explore how we can help one another on LinkedIn or something like that, basically. So there's so there's so there's two different ways to, to go at that, depending on how bold you're feeling. Basically, uh, I'm. I, I tend to be a little more bold, so I would so I would try to connect with 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 second and, and third degree people. But I mean, but you know, LinkedIn as caller ID, I think is just hugely powerful. And uh, and the guy I was training on on that day agreed, and he said he was going to start using it right away. So hopefully, so hopefully that will help him in terms of uh, in, in terms of upping his connection count and uh, and, and developing relationships and getting sales. Yeah, I do the thing. I noticed you viewed my profile, and I asked, "Can I ask why?" That's what the other thing attention? to do too. Yep, yeah, that's always a good conversation starter too. And um, and then with my second and third degrees, uh, when when I asked to connect based on a profile view, and I don't keep specific track of this, but it's just off of the top of my head. I think I think the conversion rate, if you want to put it like that, off of 
um, off of those connect requests is something like 60 or 70 percent. I mean, it's 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 pretty high in terms of uh, in terms of people yeah. who, who will connect with you because because it's like I said, I mean, they sh they looked at your profile for a reason. So hopefully they have a you know good to decent feeling about you. And and so they will want to connect. And this also goes back to having a strong LinkedIn profile, which is an entirely different topic that 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 we can discuss at some other time. But, you know, having having a good social selling slash marketing type of optimized LinkedIn profile is 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 absolutely key to doing anything on LinkedIn, essentially. And when you ask that question, you know, what caught your attention and they answer it, yep. you're already at first base. It's like, oh, you know what they're looking That's for. That's a great way to look at is. it. I like that. That's a great way to look at it. Yeah. It's like we open the door now. We know what your issues yep. are or a little bit yeah, about definitely. what you're looking definitely. for. So good. So good. The stuff isn't hard. It's just do a little play around. Yeah, we both like to experiment. Yeah, little <laughs> bite different things. Thing. It's all about testing as well. So I mean, you know, marketing people test all the time. You you've heard of you know A B tests or split tests or or whatever whatever. I mean, no one in marketing ever expects to go out and have something succeed one hundred percent the very first time they put something out. Although it'd be nice if it happens, it just doesn't happen. So that's why. So that's why we test all the time, and that's why you should test all the time as well. And it doesn't work forever, too. It'll work for a while, then yep. trends change or something yep. changes. So you got to keep just constantly yeah, exactly. testing different things. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good way to yeah. put it. That's a good way to put it. <clears throat> so it's, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. It's it's 11:42 right now. Um, if if anyone ha has a message, go ahead and pop it into chat. Otherwise. Um, I think we're probably going to wrap this up a, a little early just because we got two guys talking instead of three. So, so things went a little faster than, than normal. So um, we are here every Wednesday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Pacific, whatever time that is for you. Uh, you can reach us at socialsellingwednesday.com. Um, if you go to that link and and you still see the previous weeks, weeks uh, one still up. It's just because I haven't had a chance to change it yet. I, I if, if I don't change it by by Friday, hopefully someone else hits me over the head and say, "Hey, hey, you got to schedule a new blab." Then I'll go into Go Daddy and do the pointing and everything else, and yada yada yada. <laughs> so, uh, socialsellingwednesday.com. Uh, Wednesdays at 11, we are live. We will talk to you as, as, as you've seen. Uh, we we love to get questions and answer questions. So uh, please feel free to join us. And until next time, we'll be seeing you on LinkedIn and the internet. Yes, Thanks, Bob. Bob. Stay dry. <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> Never mind. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>